Okay, this is your <coughs> quick start guide for open track. Uh, it's not going to go into too great a detail, but just give you a kind of idea what you can do with this program and how it's set up. Uh, currently, I use mine with the PS3i camera and a three point clip that was homemade. Uh, this is the opening screen. Uh, if you go down, one of the first things you want to do is pick your tracker. And here you can see I use point tracker. If you click to the right to the little box you can get to the settings you can see that it'll detect your cameras you can control the height and width and the frames you're looking for uh, and there's some point extraction information down to the bottom which goes in a little bit more uh, detail than what I'm trying to explain here if you click on the model tab you can see where you can enter the dimensions we have an option for the clip the cap or custom okay these dimensions are important should be as accurate as possible uh, in order to make um, the tracker accurate the about tab just is a link to the free point tracker plugin just click OK on that if you go down to the protocol we're using a free track 2.0 the enhanced version if you click the ellipsis on that <coughs> for the select interface just enable both for the time being you do have an option to either just use track IR or free track and click OK uh, for the filters there's a few different options for the filters here I'm just using the Excella which uh, works best for me you click on the settings you can go with the default settings but later on you may want to adjust the rotation and translation sensitivity and dead zones you can do those actually in the filter settings here under profile you can uh, click on that you can empty or create a new empty configuration or create a new copied one or you can open a directory to take a look at what in files you currently have saved <coughs> on the right hand side you can just click the down arrow and you'll see a list of the current uh, init files you have on your system if you click on the options menu uh, you can bind uh, shortcut keys to your joystick and also use uh, the control alt and shift modifiers with those okay for camera you have some information here for the pose effect and the uh, camera offset that's something to be delved into at a later date here on the output screen you can enable or disable different things you should have the roll disabled and also have the translation wide disable this is just the way I like it uh, the game detection later on you get into this you can uh, set open track up so once you start a game it'll uh, load the correct profile and start the tracker for you and we click OK on that um, now basically at this point what happens if you click start okay and you can see here on the upper left hand side there's a window that's displaying the current uh, view that the camera is seeing you can see my three green points which are the infrared L LEDs and the red cross which represents the center of my head <coughs> uh, you can see the raw tracker down and down here that will move that's the actual data that open track is reading from the camera okay and then the game data on the right hand side here is the data that will be translated to the game actually as you move your head the octopus in the right here will also move as you move your head now I'm going to yaw to the right you can see the octopus moving okay when I get to the right edge of my screen you see I'm at 179 uh, almost completely reversed on the yaw okay and then to the left and up down okay zoom in and then you get sideways movement again I have the the translation Y and the roll axis is disabled you can control the settings on these by going into the mapping window <coughs> as you can see here all of the various axes are controllable as you see as you move your head the dots move to coincide with um, how your settings are you can make them asymmetrical if you want to have a separate uh, movement for opposite sides of the spectrum uh, and also you can control the, the settings by clicking and dragging on the uh, little circles you can add a circle wherever you want once you're happy with them you can just click OK and go back and again as you can see this was just designed to be a quick start to get you up and running if you need further information at the end of the video there's a website display information where you can go to download the current examples and also uh, read the wiki that's located there to get more information <coughs>